Before we jump in please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay here we go. In the quiet town of Berkeley, Missouri, a chilling mystery unfolds. Six people, a man, three women and two young children have vanished without a trace. This eerie tale begins in August when this group of six was last seen at a hotel in Florissant, Missouri. Their trail goes cold from there, leading authorities on a puzzling search. Their home, a rented property in Berkeley, bore no signs of struggle or distress. The police's meticulous search turned up no evidence of foul play, heightening the enigma surrounding their sudden disappearance. As days turned into weeks, their absence grew more alarming. Families were left in limbo, grappling with the chilling mystery of their loved one's whereabouts. But amidst the confusion, a bizarre thread of connection emerged, weaving a narrative that's as unsettling as it is intriguing. This wasn't just a random incident, it was a disappearance with ties to a shadowy underworld. As the days turn into weeks, their absence grows more alarming, and a bizarre connection emerges. A cult connection. The missing individuals weren't just connected by their shared residence, they were in fact followers of Rashad Jamal, a man currently behind bars for child molestation. The ties that bound these six people weren't the usual ones of family or friendship, but a shared belief in the teachings of a man whose credibility has been severely tarnished by his criminal activities. This cult, led by Jamal, has been linked to a series of odd behaviors among its followers. Some have even gone as far as changing their identities, adopting new names as a symbol of their devotion. It's a strange unsettling pattern that suggests a level of control and manipulation that's deeply troubling. Despite Jamal's incarceration, his influence seems to linger. These six missing individuals are testament to that. They vanished without a trace leaving behind a community in shock and a trail of unanswered questions. What's more concerning is that the law enforcement, despite their efforts, have found no signs of foul play at their residence. This suggests that their disappearance may have been voluntary, a decision influenced by their allegiance to the cult. The cult's activities, shrouded in mystery, raise more questions than answers. As the investigation deepens, two questions persist. Where are the missing six and what role does the cult play in their disappearance? The air is thick with fear and concern, particularly from the mother of one of the missing women. She clings to the belief that her daughter, struggling with depression, was preyed upon, lured into a web of manipulation and control by the cult. The police on the other hand hold a different theory. They believe that the group will resurface when their funds run dry, a grim hope that adds another layer of uncertainty to the already perplexing situation. The Berkeley home, now hauntingly empty, stands as a silent witness to the lives that once filled it, a stark reminder of the unanswered questions that hang in the air. As the days turn into weeks, the community clings to the hope that the missing six will be found safe, and the truth behind their disappearance will finally come to light. This hope, however fragile, is perhaps the only light in this unsettling mystery.